Safia, the most advanced robot of all time, said she will kill all humans. So are robots really capable of doing that? Robots have been replacing human beings in various fields of life, and now wars will be fought by robots against robots. Many military experts have claimed that in 10 years, armed forces will be 50 to 70 percent robotics. The superpowers of the world have invested in these robots, and they have shocking abilities. So, what are the newest advanced army robots right now? And are they really as powerful to be deployed in wars? Today we are sharing mind-blowing information about the most advanced deadly army robots like you have never seen before, therefore watch the video until the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any of our latest video about future technology and robots. Number 1. Mars Whatever you do, do not underestimate this robot's size. For years, the U.S. military has been developing a miniature tank to support troops on the battlefield. Short for the Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, Mars fits a lot of firepower into its tiny frame. Its modular design allows its controllers to outfit it with a variety of equipment and weaponry, ranging from non-lethal lasers designed to blind enemies to tear gas and M240B machine gun and up to four M203 grenade launchers. Designed for reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, Mars are able to enter dangerous areas where soldiers are unable to monitor their own security, thus keeping them at a safe distance from enemy fire. Mars have also been outfitted with inbuilt AI to perform dense patrol by following troops or patrolling all on their own. Its weapons are still human-controlled but advances in AI technology should soon be able to cover that task too. Number 2. U.S. Army Robot Dog The U.S. Army began introducing robots. Ghost Robotics Vision 60 nicknamed K-9 is already patrolling military bases in Florida to enhance security and surveillance. The 325th Security Forces Squadron is in charge of base security and they said that the robots are weatherproof four-legged, unmanned patrol drones with two-way communications and high-tech sensors that cost about $100,000. The advanced robo-dogs will be deployed around the base perimeter, where they can either move autonomously or be controlled by an operator through a virtual reality headset. Isn't it amazing? The robots are designed for stability on any terrain and have reduced mechanical complexity, reducing costs but increasing reliability and maneuverability. Operating time on one charge is seven hours, and although the robot dogs don't bite, a safety mechanism will be triggered if you try to damage them, and that mechanism is not yet known as they have not disclosed it. The canines will be an extra set of eyes and ears when processing large amounts of data and strategic points throughout the Air Force Base. Number 3. Gladiator The Gladiator is the coolest remote control car anyone can own, so the military decided to customize one of their own. Designed to assist the U.S. Marine Corps and various operations, the Gladiator tactical unmanned ground vehicle looks like a small tank. It can be outfitted with various modular tools and weapons depending on what the situation calls for. Although it tops out at 10 miles per hour, the Gladiator trades speed for toughness. It has an armored hull and packs a serious punch with missiles, grenade launchers, and machine gun mounts. To be specific, the Gladiator can be equipped with day and night cameras a chemical detection system, a light vehicle obscuration, a smoke system, an M249 squad automatic weapon, the M240G medium a machine gun, a 9mm Uzi, or an anti-personnel or obstacle breaching system. Naturally, this terrifying robot's main purpose is to minimize risks and eliminate threats to Marines during conflicts. Number 4. Safir Not all military robots need to be heavily armed assault machines designed for combat. Military forces have needs beyond the shooting of bad guys. For one, putting out fires can be considered one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, and it's only natural to want to find ways to save human life or avoid potential injuries as a result of this dangerous task. The Safir Short for Shift Board Autonomous Firefighting Robot is all about helping firefighters in their everyday job. Designed by Virginia Tech Engineering students, the Safir was created to extinguish fires that break out on naval ships. The U.S. Navy has recently unveiled a prototype of Safir that can see through dense smoke using infrared stereo vision sensors and a rotating laser. So far it is even capable of taking measured steps and handling a fire hose, but for now, these movements come at the instruction of human controllers. In the future, Safir will hopefully be able to react quickly to fires and resist much higher temperatures than the human body, thus keeping sailors out of impending danger. Number 5. Robo B. It is an insect-inspired robot that might be used for agricultural pollination search, rescue operations, surveillance, and high-resolution weather climate and environmental monitoring, among other things. The WISE Institute is creating RoboBee's man-made devices that can perform a variety of tasks in agriculture or disaster assistance based on the biology of bees. 
A robo bee is approximately the size of a paper clip and weighs less than a tenth of a gram. It flies using artificial muscles made of materials that contract when a voltage is applied. Some robo bee versions have been modified to let them convert from swimming to flying and to perch on things using static electricity. The robo bee's creators were inspired by the notion of developing autonomous and micro aerial vehicles capable of self contained, self directed flying and large group coordination. To that aim, the robo bee's development is separated into three parts the body, the brain, and the colony. Body development entails creating self flying robotic insects with the assistance of a tiny and flawlessly integrated power supply. Smart sensors and control circuitry that resemble a bee's eyes and antenna are used in brain development. It can perceive and respond to its surroundings in real time. The colony's main focus is on coordinating the behavior of a large number of individual robots so that they can function as a cohesive entity. To build Robo Bees Wise Institute researchers use novel manufacturing processes, known as pop-up microelectrical mechanical or MEMS technology, which have already substantially enlarged the frontiers of existing robotics design and engineering. Licensing is available in all places where Robo Bees are used. Number 6. Dogo it's a type of portable small robot that's been utilized in military tasks for years. However, because of their size, limited payload capacity, and complicated controls, they were mostly used for counter-improvised explosive devices, C-wides and reconnaissance. A new combat robot built by Israel's General Robotics was shown at Euro Safari 2016 to help combat forces in urban assaults and counter-terror operations. The tactical track robot called Dogo has enough battery capacity to endure 2 to 5 hours of duty with a gross weight of only 12 kilograms. A fully equipped Glock 27 handgun with attachments placed on Picatinny rails also has 8 cameras spanning 360 degrees. Non-lethal effects are provided by the equipment carried on the rails, such as a pepper spray module or a dazzler that temporarily blinds an attacker from a distance of 5 to 10 meters. Dogo was created for Special Forces SWAT teams and infantry missions. According to Shatcher Gall, VP of Business Development at General Robotics, the compact the light robot can travel on firm ground and ascend stairs. In comparison to a human warfighter, the robot has a few benefits. Because the steady platform is more precise than a person and can be handled from a safe distance, it gives warfighters more time to examine the situation rather than reacting instinctively. While the robot's pursuit range is restricted, employing Ogos under mutual cover would keep the target covered even if one of the robots trying to escape or engage the other. The little stealthy robot is built to take on things that are far larger than a Dogo's weapon may be aimed incredibly low. Even if the targets are laying on the floor or hiding beneath a bed, it can hit them at close range just as effectively as a standing person. The robot features a built-in secured container for the Glock 26 pistol, which is 9mm long. The weapon is fully loaded with 14 rounds and can be rapidly connected to the Dogo using a remote-controlled safe line system. The Ranger Remote Control Unit RCU manufactured by General Robotics is used to control the Dogo robot. The RCU uses a ruggedized Panasonic FCG One touchpad, which is covered in a jacket and provides the robotic controls. The RCU has joystick controls for navigating the robot, as well as a pointed shoe interface that allows the user to guide the weapons towards a target by touching it on the screen. Operators who have mastered the technique after only a few weeks of training have shown the ability to bring weapons and firefighter shots within seconds. All of these robots are really powerful and extremely dangerous. What do you think about our today's video? Share your thoughts with us. If you liked our today's video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing latest news about technology, robots, and science.